Hey, welcome to Make2 Explore. In this video, we're going to make tiniest interactive infrared remote using Atom S3. So you can see the setup, which is pretty simple. This is Atom S3. Then, this AC bulb is connected to this one channel relay board with built in IR receiver module. You can see this infrared receiver right here. So we know that on this Atom S3 board, there's an IR transmitter here on this side. Here is the simple two button IR remote of this relay module. It is used to control this relay via infrared, like this. So, in this project, we're going to replicate this remote using Atom S3. But for that, you need to find out IR codes of this remote. You can do it by interfacing simple TSOP 1738 IR receiver with Arduino Uno like this. We have shared all the programs on GitHub. Let's start the demo. Once you upload the infrared recorder program, open serial monitor. Just point the remote towards receiver. Then you have to press on button of this remote. Its related IR code will get recorded on serial monitor. Similarly, do it for off button. Record and note down these IR codes. We will use these infrared remote codes to program into our Atom S3 and make an interactive remote, which also have features like display, power down facility and memory of last event. So, let me show you the demo of our Atom S3's IR remote. On its tiny screen, it says click to start. We know that below this tiny display of Atom S3, there is push button. We have programmed that button. Let's point the infrared LED side to relay and turn on the bulb. So you can see bulb gets turned on. And our interactive remote also shows the status as on. Similarly, it shows status of off state. So you can see we have replicated this remote, but with some additional features. This is cool, isn't it? Now let me show you the demo of these additional features of this IR remote project. First, the power saving mode. In this, we have programmed this device to go into power saving mode after one minute of inactivity. We can wake this device from power saving mode by pressing button. Also, there is another feature related to it. So this device remembers the last state. After we wake up the device, it restores the last state on display. So you can see, it is showing current status. We can also power down this device manually by pressing and holding the button for more than one second. So in this way, you can program Atom S3 as an interactive infrared remote controller. We can use double-click logic to control more than one relay. All the source codes, circuit diagrams, and documentation are available on GitHub repo. Links are shared in video description. Stay tuned for more projects and tech updates. Thank you.